you are all aware about America's space organization, NASA. There are multiple news reports about somebody being stuck in space. Sunita Williams is of Indian origin and is an American. She's 58 years old. And there are news reports of her being stuck in space. However, she's not really stuck. Efforts are being done to get her back. To know about the problem, I will tell you the story now. Sunita Williams was involved in this space mission. This is her third space mission. NASA collaborated with Boeing for this. Boeing is a company that manufactures aircrafts and supplies it to various companies. So NASA collaborated with Boeing to create a spacecraft named Starliner. Starliner was made with the aim of having to and fro space travel. Sunita Williams was not alone. She was accompanied by Barry Wilmore. Wilmore is popularly known as Butch. The mission was launched on 5th June. However, prior to the takeoff, a lot of Williams and Wilmore's belongings were removed from the spacecraft. All of it was removed due to space constraints. Once their belongings were removed, a machine was put in its place. The machine was meant to recycle urine into drinkable water. This was meant for the two astronauts. Water cannot be stored in the spacecraft. Instead, a machine was kept there to recycle water and all of their belongings was removed to make space. Despite this last minute move, the spacecraft was launched. The spacecraft was headed towards the ISS. As you can see here, it stands for the International Space Station. The ISS is a collaborative effort of America's NASA, ESA of Europe, Canada's CSA, Japan's JAXA and Russia's Roscosmos. They together established the ISS and it is stationed in outer space. The aim is to conduct experiments research the environment and conduct many experiments. There are multiple astronauts also stationed in the ISS. After the Starliner's launch, it then docked with the ISS. The Starliner can return but the ISS is stationed there. It was launched on 5th June 2024. It was scheduled to come back on 14 June. It was supposed to stay in space for 9 days. That was decided. It was launched. And then 14 June passed by and the spacecraft did not return. There has been a major delay and there's a lot of worry because this and people are wondering whether the astronauts are stuck. What is the problem here? Here is the problem. The spacecraft had a gas leak. And there was a problem with the thrusters. There are a total of 28 thrusters. Five of the thrusters malfunctioned. Now four are working fine, but one is still not working properly. And there are also various other technical difficulties. Once the thrusters start working and the spacecraft is launched, it's docked at the ISS. But the thrusters need to work for a safe return to Earth. If this is disregarded, there can be major concerns, there can be a threat to the life of the astronauts which is why they have not returned yet and there is communication going on to solve it. 14 of the thrusters at least need to work for a safe return but there are a few malfunctions which is why the spacecraft is not returning and there is a lot of concern. The Starliner has a large battery. It has a life of 90 days. Now this means the spacecraft took off on 5th June. Until now there is no update about its return. 
it's august now almost f- more than 50 days are up shocking and maybe only 40 days are remaining after that the battery will die there's a lot of concern because of this nasa and boeing are jointly working to find out ways to bring the astronauts back even if they're there it's not a big problem but it's not easy sunita williams is 58 years old and this can cause problems to her bones problems such as i'll tell you on earth there is gravity because of this we have good blood circulation we have sunlight we eat properly so bones are strong but in space the situation is different there is no gravity they float around uh, sunlight is not there this can cause bone density issues and can make them brittle as well so people want them to return back so media reports say that the astronauts are stuck but the, but nasa says that the astronauts are not stuck and efforts are being done to brought, bring them back they're constantly in communication with the astronauts there sunita williams and barry wilmore have said that they are fine and they're confident that nothing will happen to them and they will return back to earth in the same spacecraft and they have told people not to worry so they have said this so the two astronauts are over there and what are they doing they are working so they are working with a recycling machine to recycle urine into drinking water and also the starliner has docked with the iss and the two astronauts have integrated with the crew of the iss the iss has access to water food and everything so there is not really any need to worry So then what is the concern if they are there at the ISS So a lot of reports assume that the ISS has finite resources which is why both the two astronauts need to be brought back So once they are brought back there'll be more updates and we'll inform you NASA and Boeing are working hard to bring the two astronauts back and they are thinking to send another spacecraft for their return journey till now a lot of money has been spent 4.5 billion dollars and on top of that since they have already been stuck in space another 1.5 billion dollars have gone and a lot of money is being spent their return is important but nasa says that they are not stuck <laughs> 